I wanted to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. I just hope you're having a good break from school and work and spending time with the people you wanna be spending time with. I've also started my search for a new project horse because Shade, my main man, who I've had up at school with me and who travels with me, he's like my main riding horse. Um, he actually belongs to the film industry and he's going to go film a movie um, very early in the new year and he's gonna be gone for about six months. So I really can't be horseless. So I'm trying to figure out if I should buy something or borrow something to ride while I finish out my time at Cal Poly because, um, you know, I'm not a big partier and I love to spend my free time out working horses. And obviously it's my life, so I can't be horseless. And I wanted to show you what my mom gave me for Christmas. This is my favorite. She so generously gifted me a new set of buckets and a scoop and cookies for training um, and a whole new little tack box. You know only like a horse girl would get excited to get dewormer for Christmas, but I sure am. So I think we should put some of this good stuff to use. Go see our boy Shade. I rebraided my hair because um, my hair always gets really tangled when I'm at the barn and I left these little dingle dangles. Not sure if it's cute or like, looks like some sort of religious statement. I'm also wearing this vintage Wrangler button down. I really like the embroidery on the collar. I'm wearing the Wrangler cowboy cut jeans. These ones are cute and they're pretty cost effective. I think they're only like 40 bucks. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna need a jacket and some shoes cause the cow socks will not protect me in the mud. Here's a little friendly reminder that if you want your horses to come when they're called, you should reward them for it. It doesn't have to be a treat or a cookie. It could be some love or the scratch on their itchy spot, but you should reward them or else why would they keep coming when they're called? That blanket definitely got soaked. Don't mind the mess. This is what happens in the rain. Come on. Come on, handsome. Good boy. sweetest boy I'm gonna miss him but it's gonna be a good training opportunity to have something else excuse me <whistles> come on there's wet soggy hay everywhere the horses have been making such a mess we make a mess too more and more it makes me want to transition to the hay cubes are you still there yeah <laughs> more and more it makes me want to transition to the hay cubes because I feel like there's less waste but also just feel like the hay is the more natural forage for them so Oh, I lost my partner. Excuse me. That's not your bucket. Look at this love moment that's going on right here. And that horse is spooking. Shade, we have business to attend to. Can you, I know, she has lots of fun toys. Maybe you need some toys when you get back from your job. I've seen a couple comments asking how I tie up my horses and wanting a little tutorial. And right now's the perfect time to do that. So let's do that. I take the lead rope close to his face, but not, you know, putting pressure on his face. And I make a little upside down U and I put it through the string. We tie the horses to string here because the fences are not super strong. And if someone ends up pulling back, I would like the string to break and set them free rather than them ripping the whole fence out of the ground. Okay, so we take a little U, put it through our string. Then we make another little U, put it through that hole. Sorry, I'm, I'm not very good at describing, but just watch what I'm doing. Make another little U, feed it through. Make a, another little U, feed it through, U, feed it through. And then when you're done, you're as a little stopper, you just take this little tailpiece and stick it through right there. And it hangs like that. 
But this is like a good quick release knot because say something's happening. Oh no, there's chaos. I just pull that out and go, ah, and now he's free. Sorry, I'm moving my phone, but you get the idea. Um, I like that little tie. It's not the only way to do it, of course. There's about a million different ways to do it, but that's how I do it. my brush was so I could brush out his mane and tail. It's right there. <laughs> what the heck? Kai has been running around over here. Um, probably because he wants to come out and I have my little phone. This is how professional I am. Oh, and you're upside down. I have my phone set up on this little trash can on a sponge because everything else is getting wet and Kai just flipped it off. But I guess that's my sign that we're done filming the grooming. So I'm going to keep grooming shade and then I'll check back in with you guys. Another good thing about the rain is there's a lot less flies. So Sadie can take I'm protecting my film camera and my Carhartt jacket like it's a little baby. And we're hitting the trail. Uh, I got a little funky bareback pad on because I'm trying to protect my pants from getting completely swampy and dirty. And um, I think we're gonna head out on the trail, see if we can find some nice grass, somewhere to park. And I just really wanna take some film photos of shade and capture the moment. We had a nice short ride. I got off in a few places and took a lot of pictures of shade. I'm getting wet and I wanna protect the camera. So I'm heading home. My butt's wet, my legs wet, my feet are wet and carrying a lot of mud. So I'm gonna put away all technology and just ride home. 